Let's talk a little bit about the concept of what truth is, how I refer to truth in all of my work. Because people have a real deeply mystified concept of what truth is or what it means, you know? They'll get into all these really deep, abstract discussions of uh, the mind of God and, you know, uh, trying to get into, like, you know, quantum theory and everything. Th this is mystification of the concept of the truth. And we have to demystify it. We have to bring it down to real simple, easy to understand language that anybody can comprehend. And then really completely delineate that from perception of any given thing. Because the two are not the same. When people say perception is reality, nothing could be farther from reality than that statement. Perception is not reality. Okay? It is just what it says. Perception. Seeing through. Perceive. To see through something. Like a lens or a filter. Okay? I perceive things differently without these glasses. That's one perception. When I put them on, I perceive things quite differently and more clearly. Okay? Well, that's how human perception works, like a lens. It's a filter. Okay? But what's there is the same thing. What's there is the same thing. All the change is how I perceived it. All right? So let's look at this concept. Truth is objective. That means that it's not dependent upon the perceptions of human beings. No one wants to hear that. That is, that is a direct assault, a direct frontal assault on the human ego. Because everybody wants to hear, my perceptions are important. And we want to also believe my perceptions are accurate. Okay? Now people will say, well, what makes you say your perception of this topic is going to be accurate? That's because I went through the process of having to admit over and over and over and over and over again endlessly how wrong I was about my former perceptions. I went through that destructive process of breaking down my former belief systems, of breaking down my former emotional patterns, of, uh, and of, of most of all changing my behavior. That's the thing that's the most destructive because we get attached to our behaviors and patterns. So asking people to change, I recognize it's not easy. It took me like probably probably about eight years of my life to do it. Most people don't want to spend a minute on creating personal change, let alone eight years. And you know, when I look at myself in all honesty, again, none of this is to sound egoic or to toot my own horn, but I look at it like I was a mild case of ego entrapment. A mild case compared to where I see other people at. I, I, I feel like I was the, uh, uh, you know, a very brittle stone that just needed to be hit with a chisel a few times and it broke into powder. You know, other people are hardened granite or diamond. You know, to break them down is going to take enormous effort and work. And most of them don't even want to do it. They're so calcified. You know, they're so, they've been so compressed into that hardened state that they don't even want to start. So, I realize telling people your perceptions are not what really matters. You know, that, that truth isn't based upon how you perceive things, that it's independent from your perceptions. Most people don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that. Human beings' perceptions are capable of wavering. They can, they can waver slightly from the truth, and they can waver wildly from the truth. All right? What truth is, is that which does not waver. It doesn't move. It's that which is. It doesn't matter what anybody thinks about it. It doesn't matter whether anybody believes it. It doesn't matter whether anybody knows it. It doesn't matter whether anybody sees it. It doesn't matter whether anybody wants to see it. It's there. It's always been there. It's always going to be there. Nothing anybody does can change what has happened. Can anybody change what has already occurred in what we call, in, in the thinking of linear time, the past? Not one person here is capable of doing that. Let me tell you something. Not one being in the entire manifested universe is capable of doing that. Because that which has already occurred is set in the record of the universe. Nothing can change the past, ever, 
Okay? So what truth is, the demystified concept of truth, is it simply that which already exists. It's that which has happened in the past and is happening in the present moment. The truth does not exist in the future. When we get to those future moments and it's the present, truth will be existent then, but not until, okay? So there is no such thing as truth in the future. Truth is that which has occurred in the past and that which is occurring in the present. It is simply that which is and that which has been.